there's 170 days left until the halvening, okay? And a lot of people out there have been talking about Bitcoin saying we're just gonna go up, it happens every time. It's like half a year, guys. We've still got half a year. <laughs> Six months until the halvening. Uh, so yes, sometimes we do get runs up, uh, but we have had a monstrous, monstrous run uh, towards the sky here, uh, running up to this already. Uh, and, and to not have a pullback after a 40% move is very, very rare for Bitcoin. It doesn't really happen unless we are above this bull market barrier and just confidently soaring into the sky, like we can see here in the last bull run and the bull run before that. But as of right now, we are kind of here in the cycle. So yes, a pullback makes sense uh, and that's why you should not be surprised and you should actually be trying to find shorts as well as longs in this area of the cycle okay uh, so that's one really really important point here as we do jump into this video uh, what we said yesterday with this thing was essentially this we said we got the four hour volume weighted ATR band coming through here and we lost that yesterday uh, when we uploaded the video and we said hey uh, I would expect this to come down uh, to essentially around this 36k area we did hit 36.2 okay we can get lower down to 36k of course but if we do that uh, we're actually going to initiate a bit of a measure move here if we do bring up our beautiful our beautiful patterns coming through as well right uh, one thing i will say with this thing is uh yes we do have this this pattern coming through here as you can see but uh, with that measure move coming down all the way to 35.6, uh, we can also say that, yes, we talked about the 36K uh, in the previous chart, right? And that is going to be a key level of support. Uh, one of the main points here of this is this price action channel, okay? This price action channel, when we do hit it, we often get lots of volatility around it. Uh, so with this measure move down, it's going to be quite a risky trade if we are looking for a short here. Uh, ideally, we do just smash through, and we, if we get through 36.2 okay with a lot of volume all right uh, then we can basically take a bit of a risk here and uh, and and take the short uh, we won't be able to have a take profit at 36k because it's only going to be like a half a percent move right so if we did find a trade here it's not going to be enough of a percentage for us to actually make enough money here on this thing yes you can make some money all right but I aim for a bit bigger trades like one two yeah, one to 5% here uh, when I do find them. So whether I take this trade is really up for debate. I'm probably not, I'm not looking at it too much right now unless we do just continue down and it looks very, very bearish and we're getting volume coming through, right? Uh, so we'll be watching these volume indicators. Uh, we can see here we've got the, uh, the moving averages of volume here and when these do kind of, start growing towards the upside that's indicative of a big move all right uh, and yeah we are kind of at this point where we that could potentially happen uh, but I would expect some sideways first so if I am looking at the chart right now I probably expect a lot of volatility a lot of wicks in this area if we don't recover anyway again we are still inside this pattern okay uh, so we can still recover and we can still go up and we can still have a huge measure move like we talked about yesterday uh, all the way up to potentially 40k here right but uh, just looking at the data, and as you guys know, I'm looking at the short based on this bull market barrier, okay? I'm looking for a short ideally down to 30K uh, on, the, on the bigger time frames anyway, right? But in the shorter time frames, we can see, yeah, this is going to be something that potentially we can make some money with uh, if it does go the right way. And there's going to be very um, unique criteria here to be hit, okay? Very specific, at least, uh, to be hit here. So I want to see us come down, break 36.2, okay? Uh, try and find a short on that. If it doesn't look healthy, I'll probably wait for it and then wait for a retest of this trend line and then get in after we break that low. Okay, so just to uh, say that again in case that was too fast for some of you guys, right? Uh, we come down, we make a low outside of the pattern, okay? Uh, and then we come back up, we retest anywhere between 36 to 36.7 okay and if we make a high at that point and then we break this low that's going to be the time where I enter the short and you can see there there is enough of a percentage here on this bad boy one one to one point three percent here uh, from the entry to the low that is actually a pretty decent trade if we can find it but one thing I'm looking at right now is because we've been going up for so long this might not happen the way we want it to okay and the reason for that is because uh, the momentum's just been going straight up, right? And if we do go straight up, 
often just like as if you throw like a tennis ball up into the sky right it is going to come straight back down at you right uh, rather than if you roll a tennis ball up a hill it's going to slowly gradually come down right uh, so yes interesting stuff here with this thing uh, we'll see how this goes that's the, the the next kind of short i'm looking for anyway if we do want to find a long we basically just need to recover from this point uh, we need to break above our high here okay uh, so this high this bad boy here at basically 38k we need to get above the trend line at 38.2 and do something very similar. Again, make a high, retest, break the high for the entry, and then trade that all the way up uh, to basically 40K from that point for 3%, right? That is going to be a beautiful trade if it can come through. But there are a few other easy, uh, easier strategies here uh, that you could potentially use. One of them being the webinar strategy. If you are looking to potentially commit to trading uh, and you've been looking at trading and thinking, oh, it doesn't look that hard, uh, but you can't really figure it out uh, and you're just getting bits and pieces from all these YouTube videos, right, guys? Uh, and that's a very common thing. Uh, so feel free to sign up in the description, reserve your seat. It's completely free. I'm just going to teach you guys a little bit about risk management, mindset, and a five-step strategy that can actually make you money. You just click this button here, you put your email in, and we'll let you know when that begins, and that'll be on Thursday, guys, all right? So feel free to do that. Let's get back to the charts real, real quick here, and thank you for liking the video as well. So this is the trade that we've been looking for, okay? This is the trade that we've been looking for, uh, but there is actually a bigger one potentially here uh, if we can find it and that bigger one is less about the patterns actually we'll just we'll just use this chart here instead less about the patterns and more about just a trend line break okay and a parabolic break um, and what that means is essentially uh, we will have been messing around with my uh <laughs> i've been experimenting a bit with trading view today i haven't done this in a while normally i just trade uh, but i've been trying to make some new strategies and i've been experimenting with different things right uh, but anyway carrying on uh, we got this parabolic line coming through here Actually, I think we have a, a little bit of a wider one, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. It's this one, yeah. So we have this parabolic line coming through. Beautiful stuff. Uh, what we're looking for is potentially a short back to this parabolic line, okay? Uh, and you'll find typically with Bitcoin that it does behave in parabolic kind of arcy motions, and that's just the way the momentum goes, all right? And the fact that we're quite far away from this this line right now, and it's a very rough line, I know, guys, but uh, it's pretty much, I mean, it's, it's pretty accurate what I'm saying here, right? Uh, usually, we will actually come back to this line and just kind of uh, mess around this area before even coming up for a new wave, or, uh, which I think is more likely, uh, actually breaking the line and coming down from that point, okay? Uh, so that's going to be an interesting time if we can do that, because that'll be a huge, and this is the trade I've been looking at for a while, right? This this kind of 10 to 25% trade, potentially, if that structure does break. And I just want to remind you guys, we still have six months, okay? We've got six months until the halvening. A lot of things can happen, uh, so don't just be rushing into longs too too much here because a lot of things can go on all right you've probably noticed another line on my chart here i'm going to get into that right now and actually let's just jump into it let's just jump into it uh so we can see here previous halvenings coming through uh, and you can see what tends to happen around the halvenings. We've got uh, our kind of linear regressional growth curve here. Uh, a lot of people call this the rainbow. Uh, a lot of people call it different things, but the mathematical name for it is a linear regressional growth curve. Uh, and uh, there's different supports you can get along that that kind of all behave in the same way and create this range for Bitcoin, right? Uh, and we can see with this thing that um, every time before there's a halvening, because that's the real, the data that we want here, right? Uh, that every time before there's a halvening, we do kind of mess around this person purple line all right so this support line we do kind of oscillate around it we try and hold it we lose it we come back down we, we reclaim it again right and you can see this pretty much every time before the halvenings right uh, this time a little bit different obviously we had our 14k run and bitcoin was just kind of uh getting its grips again uh but and it was very mainstream around this area of course right less so now i would say uh, and as you can see we have been oscillating around this line again but we have a long time and the next halvening as we just talked about sorry to flash your screen again with this white <laughs> oh it says uh it says the second of may now earlier today i actually said the fifth of the fifth of may so that's interesting uh, it's actually changing very quickly um, but you can you can kind of guess that depending on the the halving not the halving the mining difficulty going up and down because of that right so that's going to change that that date uh, quite easily so but 
early May, we'll call it, right, around this area, uh, what we what we can expect is potentially sideways. Is That's probably the more likely scenario, oscillating around this line before actually hitting this and then beginning our parabolic run, right? So we've got to wait six months here. Okay, you can accumulate if you want, uh, but... I mean, you might be stressed out if we do dump here and we do retest this green line yet again. Okay, and we've done this many times before the halvenings, all right? You can see this. It's clear as day, so do not rule it out, all right? Because it can happen again. It's happened before, and it can potentially happen again, all right? Uh, and there is actually another thing I want to show you here, guys, today as we do get to 10 minutes. Uh, again, be sure to like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this kind of content as well. Uh, normally, I, I dive into the TA, but um, I'm talking about the cycles a little bit more in this video. Let me know if that's that's that suits you, if that's uh, your thing here. <laughs> and then besides that, obviously, before we do jump into the on-chain side of things, guys, um, we do have this production cost coming through, and that is, uh, we are currently below that right now. I did put that in my Telegram today, uh, so feel free to uh, join that as well if you do want to like join a group full of traders that have been here for three years with me uh, and essentially are very, very good. And they're good at traditional markets as well, if that's something that, that interests you. All right. So if we are looking at this, uh, yes, this is now above. It's now at 36.6 and we are below it. Uh, we can go and use that as a resistance now uh, and, and potentially have a big dump down to the mid to low 30s if this does get respected. But uh, on the other hand, it might just get reclaimed. We've, we've oscillated around this quite quite a lot here, this production line coming through. So we'll see how this goes and we'll see if this does get respected. Um, if not, I do think what happens here is uh, the, the next big move we get, I think we will respect it after we hit it, right? Right now, it's a very interesting time for Bitcoin. Everything's been bought up uh, with this ETF news. Uh, but one thing I did want to say, I forgot to actually put it in this video, uh, but Canada have had a spot Bitcoin ETF. And let me know what you think about this, guys, right? Canada have had a spot Bitcoin ETF for like two years is now okay and bitcoin has barely moved all right when when that happened i mean it was probably like around this this kind of time period right uh, and bitcoin did pretty much nothing <laughs> so uh where's the buy pressure uh, canada has a very very big gdp there's a lot of people with a lot of money in canada okay now, obviously there's not a lot of people in canada but there's a lot of money in canada that that's where the rich go when they make money because it's like the next safe haven of america <laughs> right uh but yeah nobody bought there's no, there's nothing going on here. So uh, maybe we're looking into this ETF a little bit too strongly. Maybe we do get a bull run around the halvening and maybe this is just hype for now. Uh, but uh, yeah, just let me know what you think about that because obviously the USA is going to be slightly different. That's where Wall Street is. They're, they might be banging in orders, but they probably already have been banging in orders um, and they have been trading it the whole time, just not uh, legitimately, right? But just through different... Um, sources and different companies that they own around the world legally okay um, <coughs> I've been in business for a while now guys and uh, yeah there's there's many many tricky ways that you can get around pretty much any law in business uh, which is very very interesting obviously I don't do anything like that but um, I have learned from the best in that area and, and they've been basically telling me uh, some of the stuff they've done in the past 10 20 years and I'm shocked like wow okay uh, that is pretty impressive the way you kind of skirt around the law by using different countries right um, but you know that's the way it is and uh, yeah that's the way Wall Street will behave probably forever okay until China shut them down <laughs> but carrying on here uh, what was I going to show you I was going to show you ah this next thing okay so if we are going to bring up the cap caporoli caprioli capor uh, casserole chart we can see here uh, this is going to be a brand new addition to the channel okay because this is really really good data uh, and one thing we have noticed here this, this is going to be lagging behind a couple days but uh, I will use it for more of a long-term thing so we can see here uh, with Bitcoin uh, you can see uh, when it's in a certain color very very simple right when it's a certain color uh, we're in contraction which means bearish we're in expansion which means super bullish every 100x long bang it in okay or we're in recovery uh, which kind of means uh we've been bearish but we're kind of getting back to where we were right and then slow down is obviously that momentum slowing down after a, a, a bull market right and uh, this guy actually writes all of his indicators based on on like the Bitcoin blockchain, which is why I do like it. Uh, and I've been using this for the past few weeks, kind of 
feeling it out and I'm really happy with it to be honest so I'm going to bring it to the channel as a, a main piece uh, and obviously a uh, big big shout out to the guy who made this Capriole Capriol I don't know how to pronounce it sorry sorry not sorry <laughs> but the main point here is right now Bitcoin uh, is an expansion phase it's just started this expansion phase as you can see here right uh, just literally like yes or on the 12th so we'll see if that holds we'll see if that maintains we can see uh, if we do look uh, there are spots where it's happened and then it's it's reversed particularly in the the earlier cycles right uh, so we'll see we'll see if this holds but that's actually a very very bullish sign for bitcoin uh, to see something like that uh, but will it hold who knows uh, that's just something for the bulls right there uh, if, if you are interested uh, it's caproli.com slash charts all right so feel free to check that out uh, next up here we got the bitcoin macro index and we can see here right we can see uh, just a bunch of different tools combined and basically saying and kind of complementing this chart right in a way uh, we can see the expansion here as well right so the expansion crossing over that line and entering that next area uh, where we can get big bull runs all right so if we are going to align these charts I don't know if you guys can see maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see both beautiful stuff okay so yeah you can see where the expansion started here um, that would be in November and then, uh, yeah, if we go to November here, they're not perfectly lined up, but uh, yeah, you can see absolute massive bull run from that point. So uh, we're definitely going to be using this in the future, of course. Uh, will I be blindly long based on this? No. Should I be? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I want to see the data with this the problem with these long-term indicators anything can happen right uh, so I'm going to stick to my uh, I'm going to stick to my uh, my guns here with what I'm looking at and the data I've been analyzing for the past few uh, years I would say right uh, and we'll see how it goes but if we do get uh, many more of these kind of in this direction then definitely something to be watching definitely something to check out in terms of uh, uh, points for the bulls in which we can we can start banging in longs all right and this is the production cost this the guy actually made the guy who's made all these right uh, actually made the production cost indicator okay and you can see here uh, it's, it's pretty much in line with what we've got as well uh, but it's updated daily so uh yeah pretty decent here for this one and you can just see that uh yeah that support level uh, kind of around that 24k area i think the calculations on this chart are a little bit different to the one on trading view uh but it, it, it's kind of roughly the same right so this bottom line uh, does act as a very very good congruent support literally every time bitcoin bottoms it's there all right uh, and then the other line is more of a pivot point or an area to get over so we'll be watching that uh, intently and I think it's about to rain here. So um, yeah, I'll probably end the video pretty soon. <laughs> 17 minutes in. Again, uh, if you made it this far, congratulations. You are committing to trading. Uh, and it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, you should continue with. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you at the end of the day. Uh, and then we've also got this heat chart, uh, which is a bit more bearish, I would say. Okay, obviously, uh, we've had this pump up recently. Okay, and um, yeah, now we, we kind of got out of this red zone. It's it's begun to to kind of head head down here, right? So we've had our heater, we've had our massive run up here, uh, and now it's begun to to head down. So again, uh, that's more of a point for me where I say I'm expecting a pullback, and I'm saying, hey, yes, uh, I would expect uh, some bearish action or at least some consolidation or a big range to form over the next few months um, before continuation. Okay, so this this basically reaching that top side and being overbought uh, or in the red zone right is is basically complementing what i'm saying here and um, we would expect to potentially get back to the baseline uh, back to the baseline before we uh we, we we kind of continue the run anyway and that can take months all right so uh, yeah definitely something to look out for there but this indicator in itself i've actually really really enjoyed studying this uh, this is something that's very very like congruent with the bitcoin chart uh, so i definitely check this out as well i'll actually link this in the description for you guys so you can check it out okay uh, and then uh, yeah one thing i wanted to say as well with ethereum it is in recovery okay but uh, it's not in that um it's not in that expansion phase like the other coins despite it actually doing uh, pretty significant percentages uh, compared to bitcoin right but it's not in that expansion phase just yet uh, so just be aware of that a lot of things can happen with ethereum particularly this time around in the cycle because the supply model is very different okay they changed from uh, proof of uh, work to proof of stake right so we'll see how that affects ethereum this cycle i'm going to remain pretty cautious with ethereum uh, this time around just because uh, we don't know the the, the the back end of that whether that's going to hold up and it's going to be something that we won't know 
until a long time has passed, right? It's a long-term play in terms of figuring that out and analyzing that data, okay? Uh, this, as you can see, still a little bit far behind, not crossing over that line in terms of the uh, expansion, right? So we're still in recovery, uh, but it's not crossing over that line, and that's pretty much that in there. And you can see, yeah, exactly the same here. Uh, maybe just lagging behind Bitcoin a little bit here, where we can see, yes, uh, it's it's coming back out of that red zone and potentially back to the baseline. So uh, yeah, looking pretty good here. And we've also got mac macro stuff. I know a lot of you guys like the macro. Uh, a lot of you guys basically uh, took my course and then uh, switched to traditional markets because it's easier uh, or they're Obviously, you can't trade Bitcoin so well uh, in the uh, in the bear markets, right? There's not a lot to do. You're, you're sat, sat on your hands quite a lot. So trading traditional markets makes sense. It's going to be more profitable in those time periods. Uh, and yeah, so there's lots of data that he's got here for you guys uh, if you want to use it. And then we've got altcoins as well. Uh, but I haven't actually scrolled down this far. I've actually just been, uh, been focused on the Bitcoin and Ethereum side. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Just a quick uh, update here. And again, as you guys know, I'm looking for the short. Okay, I'm looking for a potential short. And uh, yeah, we, we do have this kind of baseline absolute maximum support for Bitcoin, which would be about 22K. So if you are banging in leverage longs, make sure your liquidation is below there. Uh, and obviously, it's not financial advice. We can go below there, of course. But uh, definitely an area where I'll be buying if we get down there for sure. Okay, so fantastic stuff. Uh, that's what we're looking for right now. Be sure to like it, subscribe to it. I just realized that I have been showing you that there we go beautiful stuff nearly made it a whole video without messing it up <laughs> but yeah just just repeating that right we can see this line down here at 22k very very important if we break this par parabolic curve i can't imagine a dump down there or if we get a swan event with all of these wars and stuff going on in the world uh, yes i can't imagine us going down there so we'll see how it goes and um, we'll see if we can uh, we can make some money on this one because uh, i've been waiting too long now i want to i want to trade give me a trade man Give me a trade. I've been waiting too long. And hopefully this is the trade where we do make a couple percent here, banging it um, out of this measure move. All right. So peace out. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Like the video if you haven't already and leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Peace. Bye.